Hi guys, so in case you missed it, I put out a paint mixing tutorial and I showed you how to custom create your colors. In this case, it was peacock colors and those are some of the beautiful tones that I ended up getting. I show you how to adjust heavy body, soft body, and fluid acrylics using pigments and fluids and other things. This was the inspiration. Look at that beautiful peacock resin piece by JMP Flow and Design on Instagram. So if you have not checked out their work, you should head over to Instagram and look at that gorgeous resin piece. It really stuck in my mind and it stuck in my mind ever since I saw it. So it inspired me to create some colors specifically that look like a peacock's quill. And one of the things about the tutorial, in case you missed it, is that's a great way to really add some character and depth to your work. When we use the paint straight out of the tube, you know, you kind of get stuck with the same colors over and over again. And one of the ways that I adjust my colors is with pigments. Sometimes I'll use fluid or high flow acrylics. And sometimes I'll just mix a few colors together. And it's a great way to really um, give your paintings a unique feel and create a lot of depth. And I do that a lot in my work. I think it's one of the reasons that makes my work stand out. So I wanted to show you this is the pour that I did with those beautiful custom peacock colors and you can see exactly what brands they were and exactly which ones I used. If you head over to my paint mixing tutorial I went over in great 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 detail. <laughs> but basically what this was if you want to see it a little closer here is I started out doing a ring pour and then see how I moved up? That is actually a straight pour for a second and then back into a ring pour. Now when you vary your cup from the canvas, see how thin the stream comes out? And what that's doing is creating incredibly thin lines of paint. Versus if the cup was very close to the canvas, those lines would be much, much thicker. And therefore the bands of color would be thicker. So when you raise your cup up, you're getting just tiny, tiny, tiny thin lines, especially after you stretch it out and everything. So I travel through the canvas with this delicate, thin line of paint and I'm kind of purposefully going back over what I've already poured. You can see I'm just following the edge and just touching the edge in a lot of places and that gives some interesting effects. And then as the lighter colors start to come out the bottom I wanted to head towards the dark area um, because I know what that's going to do is provide a lot of contrast. Contrast is where you get the depth in your work and that's why even when you're choosing tones you want to choose tones that have a lot of contrast so you want a high medium and low tone. Um, that is the injection technique. Elise Fournier uh, uses it a lot in her work. I believe she developed it although who knows these days you know this fluid acrylics is so popular and it's been going on for quite a while so um, I think she is credited with this injection technique and what you're basically doing is just tucking the tip of the bottle of paint underneath the pool that you just created and then you're just squeezing kind of hard too because you want that paint to be forced underneath that layer and what it does is create these beautiful lines in your painting and bubbles. I do see a lot of bubbles definitely when you do that. Especially as it gets stretched out and as you tilt you'll be able to see what happens there. Now I know you guys don't usually get to see me do just very simple pour and tilt paintings. But after my great flow trawl issue 
it was important for me to do something that I felt confident about and I knew that I could pull off. So <laughs> this was a great painting for me to, to start back into the swing of things and just do something real simple and um, that would, you know, basically give me some confidence again to paint. So if you're ever in a creative rut, that's a good thing to do when you decide you're ready again to, you know, do something that you're familiar with that you know um, you're pretty good at. And that's a good way to go about it. So that's what I did. And hey, you guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, will you subscribe? I would love to be able to notify you whenever I put out a new video. So what you do is hit the subscribe and then hit the notification bell and that will alert you when I put out a new video. And also thank you so much for the recent support um, for my channel. And there is a link in my description box to my PayPal and every little bit that you guys um, send me really helps buy paints and try new things and keeps me in the business of making more art videos just for you. Also, if you see a painting that you love, um, a lot of them are on sale at my website if you check out my shop or email me and my email is in my description box and uh, actually I don't have all my paintings listed in my shop so you know emailing me is a perfectly good way to see if something is still available if you love it so I just wanted to mention those few things oh and if you were part of my auction all of the paintings in the auction have been shipped so everyone should be receiving their paintings shortly if you haven't received them already so look at this beautiful painting i love the colors and okay now we're gonna close look at this piece we're gonna get close in look at all those gorgeous lines those gorgeous lines are caused from the paint cup being up high and all the thin, beautiful, delicate lines were created. Doesn't it look kind of like, like Japanese silk? All the different colors of blue I use created those lines and that gorgeous depth. And then you can see where the paint was injected, how that kind of came through and caused those beautiful white lines in there. I didn't use satin enamel or anything, I just used regular white paint. And that's that one. It just turned out real pretty, really serene and calm. Now I moved it to the light in my kitchen, which is a little bit better, and did this little video so you could really see. Look at the depth! Oh my gosh! I'm sorry my camera's not perfectly in focus right here, but man, I cannot explain in person. There we go. Look at the shimmering quality of all of those metallics, colored with some of the pigments and shifted um, with some of the fluid acrylics. It just turned out absolutely so gorgeous. And all of those beautiful lines. I want to do just a giant canvas with all of those gorgeous lines. And look at that green gold popping through the bottom right there. Very pretty. Sorry, I'm stuck on that part apparently. <laughs> I know, but it was so pretty. I can't help it. And here's the whole thing under those lights in my kitchen. And here it is dried. See how pretty it dried? It still is just tons of color and very vibrant. And once a coat of varnish in that, it's gonna be totally gorgeous and shimmery. So contact me if you love this painting and would like to be the owner. And other than that, I can't wait to make more art videos just for you.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can make more art videos for you. Thank you.